In life, and especially as students, it can feel like our mind spends time in two completely different worlds. Sometimes we face big picture questions like, how do we create order and make sense of the world around us? How uncertain is the future and can we predict anything about it? How do we determine what things are worth? What's the nature of space and the shape of the universe? Then there's everyday problems like, how am I going to plan a vacation? Can I win this hand of poker? Is it worth taking out a loan, or will this couch fit into my apartment? And while they might sound very different, big and small ideas like these, from the universal to the extremely specific, they're all unified by something. Math. In fact, all the questions we just mentioned relate to the same foundational math. As the mental math superstar Shakuntala Devi put it, everything around you is mathematics, everything around you is numbers. Hi, I'm Jason Guglielmo, and I'm a math education researcher and teacher. I've spent a lot of time studying and doing theoretical math, like abstract algebra and number theory, which are subfields within math where we study how different things within math are structured and the relationship between different numbers. But I've also spent a lot of time thinking about and researching math education, and how we teach math, and this is what I've been focusing on more recently. The field of mathematics has historically pushed out women, non-binary and queer folks, and people of color which has shaped the field in a particular way and from a particular perspective. But my hope is that by making math classrooms inviting and open spaces, my students can find their own useful interpretations of this beautiful subject. In general, I want to understand how people feel about math and how students feel they belong in different spaces where we're doing and interacting with math. I think of math as a sort of lens that can give us meaningful insights into the patterns and relationships around us. And in fact, in this series, we'll be developing a mathematical toolbox to help us understand the world and make decisions about what we do in it. In school, math might have seemed mostly about going through a series of calculations to get the right answers to specific problems. But our tour of foundational math topics will focus on developing ideas that apply to all kinds of real world situations. It'll also springboard us into counting and permutations and combinations, which lets us tackle different possibilities that come up when facing multiple choices, whether it's organizing bookshelves or teams of people. We'll also dive into the world of data and probability, which are fundamental to scientific discoveries. That'll help us understand what we can learn about the future and the world around us. We'll even look at the mathematical tools used in finance for understanding savings, investments, loans, and more, so you're better equipped with the knowledge to help you make sound decisions with your money. And finally, we'll venture into the realms of geometry, where we'll pick up the math know-how to tackle all kinds of spatial problems, from the design of soda cans to sailboats. Maybe you come across some of these topics before and figured that if it involved math, it probably wasn't for you. But the secret is, Math is already behind so much of everyday life and the big ideas we engage with. So whether you're just picking a bank account or trying to understand the whole global economy, picking up some mathematical strategies will help make better decisions and expand the horizons of your knowledge. And on Study Hall Real World College Math, we hope you'll join us to do exactly that.